The New York Times reported Tuesday that lawyers hired by CBS are about to submit a report to the board of directors concluding that former CEO Leslie Moonves allegedly harassed more women than previously known, dating back more than two decades. According to the Times, which said it obtained a copy of the report ahead of its official release to CBS board members, Moonves then tried to conceal evidence of his behavior from a team of investigators who were hired to discover the truth. The investigation was initiated after Moonves stepped down on September 9th in the wake of multiple allegations of sexual misconduct. Now, in addition to the disgraced mogul's ruined reputation, his severance package worth $120 million hangs in the balance. The report by lawyers hired by the network says the company has justification to deny Mr. Moonves his $120 million severance, the Times reported. The Times relays that the report says that Moonves engaged in multiple acts of serious non-consensual sexual misconduct in and outside of the workplace, both before and after he came to CBS in 1995. Those who prepared the report wrote that when interviewing Moonves, he was evasive and untruthful at times, and he deliberately lied about and minimized the extent of his sexual misconduct. Investigators also said they received multiple reports about a network employee who was on call to perform oral sex on Moonves, the Times reported. A number of employees were aware of this and believed that the woman was protected from discipline or termination as a result of it, the lawyers wrote in their report. Moonves admitted to receiving oral sex from the woman, his subordinate, in his office, but described it as consensual. CBS declined to comment. Meanwhile, yet another accuser has come forward with allegations of being harassed by Moonves. June Seely Kimmel tells THR's Kim Masters that she pitched a movie idea to Moonves in 1985 when he was the head of development at 20th Century Fox. Kimmel recalls, he said, We are going to make this movie. He came over and hugged me. I thought he was just being genuine. And he held me super close and proceeded to stick his tongue down my throat. It was revolting. He didn't even kiss me, just the tongue down the throat. The writer explains that after turning down Moonves' advances, she never heard from him again and her film was never made. Kimmel has shared her story with the lawyer's task with the CBS investigation. Kimmel's allegations follow those of actress Bobby Phillips, who claimed that while Moonves was president of Warner Brothers TV in the 1990s, he met with her in his office and promised her parts on TV shows if she would be his girlfriend. Twenty years later, Moonves grew concerned that the actress would speak to New Yorker journalist Ronan Farrow and called Peter Golden, his casting director at CBS, and asked him to find her a part. Golden says that Moonves' request did not seem any different from other casting queries he has received from colleagues and has told The Hollywood Reporter that he did not know the casting was intended for the purpose of assuring Phillips' silence, as reported in The Times. To read more on the story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.